Hello, and my name is Pete Rushmer, and I'm your host today of A Half Dozen Things podcast. A Half Dozen Things is a podcast for business owners just like you. Whether you're an underdog hungry for success, or you're already smashing it, but want to continue to level up, we are here each week for you to get insight and learning from the very best in the business. No fluff, no BS, and no self-proclaimed gurus talking about how easy business or life is. Hello, and welcome to a Half Dozen Things podcast. Um, I wanted to record a, uh, a real quick episode around six things that I'm really focusing on on in 2024 so six things to focus on for 2024 these are things that i'm focusing on and i thought they might be valuable for you guys too who are listening so uh, the first thing from for me is consistency so um consistency is a focus area for me this year because i want to make sure that i'm super consistent all the time and i think that creates results so and super super important so and, and I, I i apply that i try to apply that in all areas of my life so uh, consistency around my diet consistency around my exercise consistency around the work i'm doing and my production so making sure that i turn up consistently online making sure that i'm consistent around my podcasts making sure that i'm consistently creating great content for you my audience so um consistency is one of my buzzwords this year so Question for you, if you're listening, what are you doing to maintain consistency in your life? What are you doing to con- maintain consistency around your health and well-being, around um, the things that are important to you, your family and your work? So that is the first thing, consistency. Really, really important. Uh, the second one is resilience. So I'm really focusing on making sure that I am resilient from the perspective of making sure that I'm able to bounce back to setbacks. So making sure that I'm taking a positive attitude to the things that are happening around me, making sure that I understand that when things are knocking me back, um, it's because there's new opportunities. So resilience helps me have a positive mindset and make sure that I behave in a positive way and make sure that I take positive actions to create positive outcomes. So uh, resiliency is a real focus for me. I have had a couple of setbacks already in 2024, um, but I'm still I'm still fighting strong. I'm not going to let them drag me down. And um, I'm feeling positive around any other challenges I may be able to face. So uh, ways to increase resiliency is to make sure that we're well rested, make sure that we've got the, the right mentality, the right attitude, uh, making sure that we're approaching things with an open mindset. And uh, the way I do that is through um, reading. I read uh, a lot of Stoic philosophy. Um, I help under, help myself to understand m- myself a lot more. I work with a coach, those kinds of things. So I get support where I need it. Um, I speak to other people, I get advice um, and have a great network of, of fantastic people around me, including um, I'm very fortunate to have such a wonderful wife as well who helps support me. So thank you, Maggie, and thank you for my family for being able to do that. But resilience is really, really important um, for us to be able to get great results and great outcomes. So uh, my second question for you is what are you doing around resilience and your resilience? The third is well-being, which is very closely linked to resilience, but I felt that it was something slightly different for us to talk about. Um, well-being is around making sure I get exercise. So resilience and consistency will help lead to well-being, making sure I'm getting regular exercise, uh, making sure that I'm taking time out to take care of myself. I woke up this morning particularly feeling tired and maybe um, uh, a, a bit anxious and, and that kind of stuff. So um, I was due to go to the gym. I booked into a class, so I cancelled that. I took a ex- bit of extra time to sleep, and actually it's made all the difference. So going from that six hours to taking an extra hour and a half sleep and actually getting up a bit later today has made a massive impact on my overall well-being. Um, so really happy about that. So just understanding the importance of sleep um, and having flexibility around your plans to be able to focus on what giving your body what you need when, when it needs it. Um, I've been focusing a lot more in um, investing in myself. So simple things like um, I have signed up to do this high rocks and I'll struggle into, with the flexibility to be able to squat. So I was seeing a, um, a therapist around uh, my, my, my muscles and stuff like that. They've pointed out that actually they think I've got one leg longer than the other. So I've been to get scanned for that. And it turns out that I needed insoles in my shoes, which made a massive difference. So yeah, uh, peg leg Pete is my new nickname. Um, I've got one leg longer than the other. 
So I've had to uh, have some inserts and really high arches too. Um, and that was affecting the way that my muscles were developing and then therefore the flexibility in my legs. Uh, actually, my feet weren't in a great shape. Um, so yeah, well-being is really important, right? So that's, uh, that's my third area that I've been focusing on. Hi, it's Pete from Flagship Partners. We're proud to sponsor a Half Dozen Things podcast. Flagship Partners help their clients become safer, greener and greater through a range of consultancy and training services. We offer audits through to risk assessments, contracts through to support with managing your culture, all the way from mandatory training through to management training as well. So if you need any support, please do get in touch with Flagship Partners today. Uh, the fourth is my service, my service of others. So um, there's a selflessness around service. And uh, obviously the podcast, I release that into the world for free. I take time out of uh, work to be able to do that. And uh, it's important to me to be able to serve others and to be able to help them as well too. So hopefully you take uh, the ideas that I put forward um, into your own lives and, and, and help to improve those too. I'm not saying I'm the font of all knowledge because I'm absolutely not. I'm on a journey uh, of learning, but I like to just share. And and if I share, then hopefully that helps others to be able to go and do that too. And some of the stuff I'll talk about, you'll go, yeah, Pete, I already know this stuff, right? But sometimes it's good to be reminded, right? Because there's no such thing as a brand new idea. I'm only sharing stuff that I learn from other people. And hopefully you find that interesting too. So uh, service is the other one, just making sure I've got a lot more selflessness, making time for other people. Um, I've often been guilty of being in too much of a rush to go on to the next thing and working too much and not making time for the people in my life that are important. So I'm doing my best to make time uh, to be able to prioritize others around me. Um, the fifth area is craft. So uh, focusing heavily on being the best version that I can be of myself and in the content and the work that I'm doing as well. So making sure that the work is absolutely excellent and, and top notch. I named flagship partners flagship partners for a reason and that was because I wanted to make sure that we delivered the absolute flagship standards um, which uh, I'm committed to so working on the craft making sure uh, we're doing everything we can to be the best we can be make sure we've got the best knowledge the best products the best services we've just launched allied which is really exciting so making sure we're innovating making sure we're leading the market making sure um, we are doing everything we can to be the best at what we do and then the final sixth one is around um, uh, my emotional intelligence. So working on that even more at the moment, been working with my coach uh, to be able to pick up on other people. And this links to the service and the craft as well to make sure that I'm doing the absolute best I can um, from uh, an emotional intelligence perspective. And that helps me because it helps all of the other things that I've been working on too. So uh, a few questions for you. What are you doing around those six areas? Consistency, resilience, well-being, service, craft, and emotional intelligence. They're your six, six key things. And um, yeah, have a think, write them down. What are you doing? And uh, if you need any help, then I'm here to help support you. Um, let me know what you think and speak to you on the next one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I really hope you loved today's episode. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe and listen out for future episodes too. Please do share it across your social media channels. We hope to reach more and help more people. If you want to find out more about me, my name's Pete Rushmer. You'll find me across any social media channel and my business, Flagship Partners. And we're your partners in success across your business. Thank you. See you again soon.